everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here and welcome back. Today I am very excited. We are in a different space. We are again in my kitchen. I don't know if you guys remember, but during the Christmas season last year, or almost last year now, I made stovetop hot cocoa and I thought, you know what, let's do something fun for Halloween because I really enjoy cooking, but I'm not the best at it. So we're going to start with a really simple recipe, but today we're going to do a hot mess kitchen cook with me chocolate apple so i'm very excited but first we got to go to the store and pick up some ingredients so let's go so filming in a store is the most anxiety ridden thing i've ever done i hate this let me started on decor like not decor but like decorations because this this is too much i'm overwhelmed but i'm also very excited side note i don't envy anyone who does baking for a living because this is ridiculously priced like oh my gosh there's so many options, and I don't know where to start. Actually, back from the store with everything we need. Let's do a really quick Walmart haul. I'm so sorry about this light. This is ass lighting, but I cannot do a damn thing about it. This is just the kitchen. So, I should not be left alone in a Walmart, and I'll tell you why. Because I will buy everything. A lot of girls talk about how it's like, oh, Target, yay, Target. Not sponsored, by the way. But... I love Walmart and it's cheaper, it's got more variety to me, and I just find everything I need. So, what we've got first is the sticks. Now these are for crafting, but I was like, I need a thicker stick. I don't want like a skewer because the skewers that I looked at were way too thin, and I was like, this is not gonna work. Also, I went to the decorating section and it was a dangerous section for me. So I got some red, oh, you can't even see that. I got some red sprinkles that are glittery. And then I found these and I thought these were just so cute. They're little sprinkles and eyeballs. Like how cute are those? Really adorable. And then of course I had to get, and I could not decide how many of these freaking things to get. I'm going to probably have too much. But I got some chocolate, which I was gonna get chocolate bars, but then I was like, no, I don't think that's gonna melt as easy. So I got chocolate chips. Um, so I got, you're gonna be, you're gonna be like, oh my God. But I got three bags of that. I got two Hershey's and one off brand because your girl's gotta save some money. Lastly, the coup de crayon, we got apples. If you're curious what kind, I think I got, oh, I can't pronounce that. Ambro, am, 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 Ambrosa apple, so I don't know. But I thought they looked the biggest that would fit on a stick. And they'd also be nice and like fresh because these look like the freshest ones they had. I also want to mention, I'm not following a recipe. I'm just following this picture that I found online and I was really inspired by. So this is all just me making it up as I go along. What you're asking yourself, Sherlock fan, how are you going to melt the chocolate? Because that's what everybody wants to know, I know. So I thought, because Dan and Phil have taught me many things. Many things I don't know that I ever needed to know in a lifetime, but they actually taught me what a Ban Marie was. If you're confused what a Ban Marie is, in their baking videos, they use a bowl and a pot of boiling water. And so what we're gonna do is put the bowl on top of it, put the chocolate in, and it's supposed to use the steam to melt the chocolate. So I'm really excited to try this. This could also end terribly. I know the hot cocoa definitely boiled over and it made a mess. So I'm kind of nervous to try this first time using a Ban Marie, but I'm gonna try it and this is all about trying new things. Our trusty chocolate and get that a going. So here we go, the dumping of the chocolate. Ah, oh shit, this might've been a not big enough bowl for all this chocolate. Shit. I have totally overestimated how much chocolate I'm gonna need because this bowl of chocolate is literally full to the top. So. Yeah, we might need to melt more chocolate, but I might have overestimated. So all you guys missed was me washing the apples. They're a little wet right now. I'm probably gonna have to wipe them down. All right, we got some steam. So I guess I am gonna add it now. I'm, oh God, I'm so nervous about this. I just, please don't kill me. Please, please. Oh, shit, that scared the crap out of me. It sizzled. Okay. Oh, okay. We're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. We didn't die, so that's a plus. All right, this is looking great. I did not think this was gonna work so well, but it really, really is working, and I'm so excited. Good job, Dan and Phil, for teaching me that. 
because this is really going well. I'm really excited how much it's melting. This might actually be plenty of chocolate, so I'm kind of mad that I bought so many bags. Like I said, it'll get eaten or used somehow, but I'm kind of salty that I spent time like worrying that I wouldn't have enough when in reality I had plenty. All right, so we are fully melted. Now it's time for the fun part. It's time to get the apples, decorate, and put them on the plate. We got our apples, and now we just gotta get our sticks in the apples. We've got our apples and our sticks. We are ready to get this party going. This is the absolute worst angle in the world, but we're gonna have to make it work because I have nowhere else to put you guys. So I'm going to attempt the first one without being entertaining because I literally have no idea if this is going to work. So I cannot be funny for the first one. I have to genuinely try. Wow, this is a lot harder to puncture than I thought it'd be. Shit. Why do I need to, st oh, well, there we go, it's going. I was like, do we need to stick a knife in there maybe? And then, I did it! Ah, look at that! A small accomplishment, but an accomplishment all the same. Let's just see if I can do it one more. One, two, three, four. Let's see if I can do it five more times. I, I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I did it. This is such a small accomplishment. But I did it, look at this. The apples are good, they're ready to go. Now all we absolutely have to do is the best part, dipping and decorating. Sorry if I sound weird, I literally just ate a spoonful of chocolate. Okay, here comes the fun part. Here's the apple, we're gonna dip it and we're gonna see how it works. Oh my God, the dream is alive. The dream is alive, we're doing it. Oh my God, ah yes, it looks great. It's a little sloppy. I might have dipped it a little too much, but it'll get better. And I think I have to let these cool before, well, maybe not, because I gotta decorate, okay. So after these are dipped, I'm going to decorate. All right, we got our stations ready to go with our red sprinkles, our rain or Halloween sprinkles, and our rainbow sprinkles, because there's always a reason to have rainbow sprinkles. Oh my gosh, the magic. I literally should open a baking company, except I shouldn't open a filming company because I'm not doing a very good job and doing justice by holding this shot. I was gonna do a time lapse of this um, dipping the apples, but you know what? I think I'm actually just going to show you guys the final results and kind of just jam out to Halloween music. This is the messiest damn process. How is it every time I do a hot mess kitchen? I mean, it wouldn't be a hot mess kitchen without me making a mess, right? This is gonna take forever to clean up. I spilled all these sprinkles. I got chocolate everywhere. But as you can see so far, we've got these cute little pumpkins. I had him have three eyes because he was just a monster. This one is my favorite because it's got the rainbow sprinkles. This one was a bit of a fail, but that's okay. Going well, I only have about two apples, three if you count that one. Three or four, two or three apples about left. And then um, I guess that's it. And then we just refrigerate them and uh, we say our goodbyes. All right, so that'll do it for today. I will show you guys the final product as we go to the end screen. I had a lot of fun doing this. I now know how to use a band Marie, so that's a big thing. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, but I want to have less mess next time because literally I'm going to have to clean up this entire kitchen again. So that's going to be fun for me. But if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, stay spooky. Shake and shatter